Yes, you can add a PDF document to your Linktree page for free. So let's just stop and think about what you could actually add. It could be a price list or details of all your programs or online courses that you offer, or an ebook or a guide or a list of frequently asked questions. Get creative, think outside the box and add something that helps your audience understand a little bit more about you or your business. So here's how to do it. When you log into your Linktree account, you should land on this page here, which is the links page. To add a PDF document, click on add link here at the top and you'll see a few suggested links across the bottom here based on what you've looked at or added recently in Linktree. So you can see that I've got documents here already but if this isn't shown, then just click on view all. So in this first section here, under where it says share your content, look for one called documents. Again, click view all here to expand the list and you can see document is here. So just click on add. Now you need to enter all the details. So firstly, you would need to add a title for the link. So click on here where it says title and type in what you want the link to be called. Once you have the title in, there's also the option, if you scroll down a little bit, there's also the option here of including a description, if you wanted to, which shows underneath the PDF preview. So I've got my title in here, and then you need to upload the file. So just click on add here, and choose where your file's located. So it could be from your device, it could be a URL link, or it could be in your Google Drive. Navigate to wherever the file is saved, and then click on upload. So you can see that it's automatically switched this link on already. And you can see it in the preview over here on the right hand side. And there's a little drop down arrow to the right of the title here. And when you click on that, it expands and shows the preview of your PDF. So you can see at the moment, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of my page. So I'm just gonna switch this to off so that nobody can actually see it at the moment. And I'm just gonna make some changes. So now this has been uploaded, I can click the cross here to come out of it. And I want to quickly add a thumbnail image so it matches the rest of my page here. So I'm gonna click on add thumbnail icon here and click on set thumbnail. And I'm then gonna choose from the tablet icons. I'm just gonna do a quick search for a light bulb and we'll just use this one here. So that's fine and I'm gonna click the little cross here. So now I can toggle the switch back to on and you'll see it appear in my preview over here on the right. And it, it looks like it kind of matches the rest of my page now, so that's fine. If you want to see the proper page in full, then click on share in the top right corner and go to open my link tree. This opens up your Linktree page in a new tab. And you can see this is the PDF that I've just uploaded to my page. So when someone clicks on the link here, they get the preview of the PDF and there's a button at the bottom called view. If they click on here, it opens up as the actual PDF. And there's the option here to download it as a PDF if they want to. This is actually in the Chrome browser. I'm not sure if it's the same in all the other browsers, but on Chrome, this is what it does. And then to shrink this back again, you can either click the cross at the bottom here, or you can just click on the title and it will minimize it again. And remember, at any time, you can switch any of your links on or off by logging into your Linktree account and then clicking this switch here to toggle it on or off next to the link that you want to show or hide. So what kind of PDF are you going to upload to your page? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know how you're going to use it in your small business. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.